Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys a brand new player review today. Today guys, we are bringing you the international man of the match, Tomas Muller. As you guys can see on the screen, but before we get into the video, if you guys are interested in purchasing any coins, make sure you guys go ahead and check out ufifa.com. All the links will be in the description below. And use the discount code RUSSO for 5% off if you guys do end up purchasing any coins. So, as you guys can tell, this guy is absolutely amazing. And uh, I have been doing a bunch of player reviews for you guys. So let's go ahead and try to smash 100 likes on this Muller review. Pause the video right now. Like it up. That would mean the absolute world to me. So let's set a goal. Let's set a target of 100 likes on the video. So uh, thank you guys all in advance for those of you who do go ahead and like it. I really do appreciate it. And it does mean the world to me. So the face guard stats on the Muller card are 84 pace, 85 dribbling, 88 shooting, 56 defense, 85 passing and 79 heading so as you guys can tell he has some very very good stats he's also 87 overall rated and luckily enough for us guys they put him at a striker thank god they did not put him at a right wing uh, definitely this guy is made to be a striker and this card is absolutely phenomenal so I actually bought him for 856,000 coins he is fairly pricey I'm hoping to not lose too many coins on him I actually lost over 700 thousand coins on Benzema yesterday. I bought him for 1.4 million, sold him on for 800,000. It was brutal. So anyways guys, 19 goals in six games with this guy. He is a goal scoring machine. He does have high, high work rates, which does kind of pose a little bit of a problem, but I didn't really notice it too much. Uh, 90 ball control guys on the in-game stats, 92 curve, 98 finishing. His finishing is absolutely unbelievable. 92 penalties, 90 short pass, as well as 92 shot power, and 96 volleys as well. So, like I mentioned before, he does have high, high work rates, four star weak foot, and three star skimmers. The three star skimmers is a little bit of a problem. Um, I mean, not really, guys but he is a little bit on the slower side as you guys can tell by his physical attributes he doesn't really have the sprint speed it's only about 85 for his sprint speed so he's not the fastest player um, so you know trying to get by defenders single-handedly you're not going to be able to outrun them he does have 90 attack positioning though guys and I want to bring up the attack positioning because since he does have high high work rates uh, the attack positioning kind of does cancel it out because he's usually in the right place at the right time. Uh, you know, probably around 95% of the time. But, I mean, the furthest back that I actually saw him was he actually did play camp for me. But he does run back and play defense. So this guy is just an all-around god. And uh, he's just a very, very good player. So, you know, I basically liked everything about this guy. He was absolutely awesome. A great right foot. His weak foot is four stars as well. I mean, obviously, it's not as good as his right foot. Uh, but his left foot was still very, very good. Um, one of the things that I also liked about him is that he stands at six foot one tall. So if you guys do want to go ahead and try to cross the ball in uh, with your wingers or, or you know any of your center mids that are dribbling up the side of the field, you can definitely go ahead and do that. This guy is huge, but uh, you know on the downside since he is so big. He is a little bit slower, and he's a little bit more chunky and clunky, I guess you could say, in the box. I mean, he doesn't really, you know, run too fast. His sprint speed is still very good, 86, and his pace is still 85 or 84, I believe uh, that's what's on the face card. So, he's still very, you know, good when it does come to that. He's not going to, you know, run straight by defenders, but this guy, he's basically the definition of a utility striker, and he's absolutely amazing. His finishing is on a whole nother level. I mean, this guy, I absolutely loved everything about him, guys. I mean, obviously... He is a little pricey, but think about it. He's finally a striker. He's not a right mid or he's not a right wing. He's always, you know, a little bit too slow or considered a little bit too slow in the Bundesliga, you know, just because in the Bundesliga, they do have very, very fast right wings uh, in this game. But thank God EA did put him at striker. I have really nothing to complain about. I mean, when you score 19 goals in six games, that is just an absolutely outstanding number, an average of around three goals a game, actually a little bit more. And, um, you know, I definitely really, you know, I got used to the fact that he wasn't going to blow by people, and I created plays for him, and he was just absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, one of the people that I actually linked him up with was Mario Goza, and uh, that was just incredible right there by uh, Tomas Muller. He, he, you know, he warded the defender off, scored the goal, and uh, I was absolutely in shock. I mean, this guy, this guy just has it all. And what I was, you know, wanted to bring up about Goza is just surround him with some good passers, guys. This guy's gonna create the plays. I mean, he's he's just like this in real life. He's an absolutely fantastic player, and uh, there's some good evidence of the shot power, even though the goalkeeper did get his hands on him. Uh, the ball, he was still able to finish it off. So, you know, if I. 
I just really don't have anything to say about this guy. He's absolutely incredible. Had a blast playing with him. Uh, you know, it was you know really easy to score goals with him. As you can tell, he can head the ball in as well. He's a threat from corners, which you know when you guys do play with a striker, you typically don't get that. Uh, but Muller's going to offer you that, standing at six foot one tall. He has decent heading at seventy nine, and his head and accuracy is pretty decent as well. I mean, it's not you know over the top. He's not an Ibrahimovic, but he still will get the job done. So hopefully, you guys did enjoy this in. Uh, this international man of the match Tomas Muller review I mean he was absolutely fantastic guys and as you can tell his uh, face card stats say that as well I mean 84 pace 85 dribble 88 shooting what more do you want in this guy also has 85 passing because typically in real life he does play uh, in the midfielder at right midfield but thank you EA you gave him a striker card so if I did have to rate this guy I would give him a nine and a half out of ten what an absolutely fantastic card. I love playing with him. Uh, just make sure you guys do keep a, you know an eye out for his position on the field, as well as try to get the ball on his right foot. His shot power is uh, absolutely excellent. His finesse is a little bit weak, but nonetheless, it can still definitely be done. But try to get a nice, powerful shot off with Muller. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, make sure you guys do leave a like. Once again, let's go for my goal of 100 likes. That would mean the world to me. But until next time, guys, this has been Urso. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.